All right, so now that it's all factored, now we cancel. X minus twos. X minus fives. Fours. Boom. So we're left with 2x minus 5 all over x plus 7 times x plus 2. And we're happy. So we don't simplify the bottom? We just leave it like that? Don't waste your time. Okay. Sometimes this is considered simplified. Okay. Yes, I, I'm assuming you know how to distribute and do all that if you need to, but eh. Problem calls for it, go for it. Otherwise, yeah, just leave it. All right, last problem. So, we've simplified fractions. We've multiplied fractions. What's left? What the, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division. Division. If I gave you this problem, you wouldn't freak out. Because we know how we can write that. We write that. Instead of writing it as a fraction over a fraction, we can write this 2 sevenths divided by 3 over 14. Is that the same thing? Yes. How do we rewrite this to make our lives easier? 14 over 3. Copy dot flip. 2 over 7 times 14 over 3. And then we cross reduce, basically find the factors and then cancel stuff out, right? Yep. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. With the following. It looks big and scary. X squared minus Y squared divided by Y squared minus 49 all over y minus x over y plus 7. It looks so big and scary. It's scary, Mr. Sam. There's a fraction over a fraction. But if we realize, hey, this is the same as x squared minus y squared over y squared minus 49 divided by y minus x over y plus 7, simply it's not so bad. squares x minus y times x plus y y minus 7 times y plus 7 that's also different to squares y plus 7 over this is y minus x but that's x minus y so what can we do? Let's factor a negative 1 out of this. Change this into negative 1 times x minus y. And then we cancel. Bye. See ya. x plus y over negative y minus 7. But sometimes you may get that answer and the book may write it differently. The book may take negative 1 times y minus 7 and get 7 minus y on the bottom. These are both correct. So, if we have to simplify this down to just a few steps, 
Step number one, I would say, factor. Factor the numerator. Factor the denominator. Don't kill puppies. I don't kill puppies, I mean, what values will make it undefined? And step four, cancel. Any questions? Sure. So rational algebraic expression, it's a fancy way of saying algebra expressions in any fraction. This is a rational expression. This is also a rational expression. This just has algebra in it. So if we were to simplify 12 over 30, what would you do? Divide both of them by 2, okay? Six. Or 6. Way back a long time ago, you may not remember doing this, but your teacher actually had you find the least common multiple, right? One way to do that is just write all the factors of 12. 2 times 2 times 3. Yes? Factor the 30. 2 times 3 times 5. Now what do we do? You cancel out the ones that are the same. Cancel out the ones that are the same. And we get fifths. We're going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to find all of the factors of the numerator. Now two of them are already factored out for us. So we should find factors of z squared plus 2z minus 8. So, uh, if I do my method, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. What factors of negative 8 add up to 2? Well, negative 4 times, sorry, add up to positive 2. 4 times negative 2. So it's going to be 1z over 4, 1z over negative 2. Can I reduce anything from those? Simplify those fractions? Nope. So it's 1z plus 4 and 1z minus 2. Do the same thing for the bottom. So trust me, it's z minus 2 and z minus 1. Now, before we cancel, question. What values will make this expression undefined? Undefined is when we do what? Yeah, when we divide by zero. What happens if you divide by zero? Dogs die. Puppies die. Can't divide by zero, then puppies die. So, what Values for z will make this 0 in the denominator. <coughs> Anybody? Well, anything times 0 is going to equal 0, right? Mm -hmm. So if this equals 0, that means the denominator is 0. Yes? So z minus 1 cannot equal 0, so that means z can't be what? One. Positive one. Z cannot equal one. Because one minus zero is zero, and then we're dividing by zero, and puppies die. What else can't Z be? Positive two. Positive two or? Negative five. Negative five. Z can be <laughs> one, two, or negative five. Those will make it undefined. All right, so we did that little pause there to figure out what will make it undefined. 
It's undefined if anything in the numerator is equal to zero. So now we simplify the rest of the way. What can I cancel out of from both top and bottom? Z plus five. Z plus five. Z minus well, two. Ah! And we're left with two Z times Z plus four, all divided by Z minus one, and we're done. So if we have to sum this up, I would say this. Factor of the numerator, factor of the denominator. Don't kill puppies and cancel. Those are basic steps. Back to the numerator, back to the denominator, don't kill puppies, cancel. So if we just figured out the problem, would we still have to say what the values will be if, to if not it make it undefined? Asks you what, um, what will make it undefined, you need to tell them what will make it undefined. Okay. Same thing on this one, back to the numerator. Everybody, back to the numerator right now. It's the greatest common factor there. John, what's the greatest common factor on top? B. B. So it's going to be B times what? B minus 5. B minus 5. The bottom is difference of squares. How, does, how do I factor that? What's that going to give me? You got this. It's 25 minus b squared. Uh, 5 minus b and 5 plus b. 5 minus b and 5 plus b, right? Now, is there anything that we can cancel on top and bottom? Not yet. Is b minus 5 the same as 5 minus b? No. No. Is it close, though? Yeah. What If I say, come up here, do a side problem. b minus 5 divided by 5 minus b. If b was 3, it would be 3 minus 5 over 5 minus 3. So we get negative 2 divided by 2, which is what? Negative 1, right? So really, this is just negative 1, isn't it? Another way we can look at this, go the other way here. What if I factor out a negative 1 from the bottom? What is 5 divided by negative 1? Negative 5. What is negative b divided by negative 1? b. Now can we cancel? That's so nice. So we get b, b minus 5, negative 1 times b minus 5 over 5 plus b. And I cancel. Does it matter where I put the negative 1? Can you go in the numerator? Can I make it negative b over 5 plus b? No. Actually, I can. Can I put it in the denominator? Make it negative 1 times 5 plus b? Yeah. Can I stick it out in front? Yeah. You remember doing this with, the with slope. Is negative 2 over 3 the same as 2 over negative 3? Is that the same as negative two-thirds? Yeah, it's all the same, right? So, eh, I'll just throw it out front. Is this super, super tough? No. Factor. Factor the numerator. Factor the denominator. Don't kill puppies. Cancel. It's got a cool trick there for... It's x minus some number divided by some number minus x. All right. So that's dealing with regular fractions. What if we have something? What if we're multiplying two fractions? 
If I said 15 over 36 times 16 over 20, yeah. would you multiply that straight across right now? No. No. You'd be, you'd be doing some cross canceling, wouldn't you? Yes. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to cross cancel. But first, we've got to figure out all the factors. So, let's do the following problem. Eight x minus twenty x squared plus two x minus thirty five x squared minus seven x plus ten four x squared minus sixteen. I'm going to pause a moment and let you factor the different parts. <laughs> 